This is the video where Kevin and I give our likes and dislikes for the month. So this is for the month of September. So I do a lot of videos. A lot of videos come out every single day. So if you miss some, if you don't have time to watch them all, this is the video that you want to watch. Monthly because <laughs> Yeah, this is going to give you the highlights. So even though there were other things that we really didn't like or uh, that we really, really liked, these are the best, or the best of the best, or the worst of the worst. Uh, so the first thing we always do is we go over the things that we absolutely hated. So... Uh, there are several of those this yeah, month. I think it was more than been been for a long time. Yeah, there's more dislikes than there have been for a while. So this is the built. Um, this is one of the built uh, powdered drink mixes. Um, they need really need to work on these. This yeah, one we really didn't like any of them. Honestly. Well, there were a couple that were good. Oh, they were okay. They weren't good enough to where I would ever buy them again. Exactly. Uh, just because they need to work on them. They right. get, they're they not good at dissolving. They just had issues. Yeah, very, very clumpy. Um, this one in particular, though, was the root beer float. And I said during that video, I said, this tastes like a prenatal vitamin. Yeah. It, it was, and I didn't think it was that bad, but uh, but I do remember it being pretty chemical. And out of all of them, we both agreed. This yeah, was, that was the worst. This was yeah. the worst. I didn't think it was bad as you did, but I do think it was bad. Yeah, so <laughs> that that's the first thing. Uh, so if you missed that video... That yeah, that's the one to watch. And then what do you want to show? Um, Anything you want. Let's do this, Brox. The turkey dinner uh, candy corn. Yeah. There was a couple in there that were okay. Yeah. But there were enough in there that were bad that I wouldn't waste some money on. No, and, <laughs> and you can see the the yeah, bag. Yeah, they were never out anymore. We 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 closed the bag. Well, we didn't offer them to anybody. Yeah. I plan to. I've actually been saving them because they're good until uh, June of next year. I uh, closed the bag and I, I plan on taking them to my sisters because I want them to try each Absolutely. flavor, but I didn't want to take them out there until we had showed them <laughs> during this video uh, for our, our hates. Um, so now that I've shown these during this video, I will absolutely take them to my sisters and I will try to get her on camera, um, trying these, whoever I can, and we'll see what they think of them because I think that would be hilarious. Yeah, and like I said, um, a couple of them were, were decent. Like I didn't mind the turkey with that roasted uh, ch turkey the flavor, dressing, but the dressing, dressing was pretty was bad. Appalling. There was another one that's pretty bad. Oh. Even uh, wasn't there an apple pie in there? I don't know what else. I'm thinking there. there was an apple pie in there and it wasn't very good either. I don't, uh, there was. The cranberry was okay. There was green beans, Horrible. roasted turkey, cranberry okay. sauce, cranberry's okay. ginger glazed carrot, Horrible. sweet potato pie, and stuffing. So and no, the there was no. Sweet potato pie was okay and no, the stuffing was bad. Yeah, there's. Yeah, so it was about 50-50 uh, and the, though, even the decent ones weren't that great. They do have an apple pie, Brox does, but that's in a different Okay, that, I just saw the green. I couldn't remember. It was yeah. green beans. And that was green beans. Yeah. yeah. So, we would totally just don't do, Skip it. don't buy those at all. Okay, so then I want to show you the panettone. This is pumpkin spice panettone. It doesn't even smell good. Mm -hmm. It smells... No, it smells rancid. Yeah, it smells <laughs> funky. And you know what? I'm just going to be honest. We're not a big fan of Panettone. We just aren't. We weren't raised with it, but I don't, honestly, I don't think that has anything to do with it. Any Panettone that we've tried, no matter what um, flavor it is, and no matter where we have bought it, the brand, whatever, just not big fans of it. It's just not that great. Uh, so if you've grown up with it, um, then I guess you're just used to that smell and that that uh, texture and everything. We just we just are not fans of it at all. So I probably, uh, in all fairness, probably won't be buying any more panettone unless it's some really really spectacular flavor that I'm just dying to try. Um, but yeah, we're just not fans. Oh yeah, these are the uh, these are muffin uh, plus protein. Yeah, muffin plus protein. This is the birthday cake. I had the chocolate. Double, Double chocolate. chocolate. Um, these were uh, $2.49 each. They were very expensive, I think, for one muffin. Yeah. Uh, but they were just they were just awful. They they were not good at all. They were just horrible, horrible muffins. And after you've spent that much money on them, it's just sad that it's like 
you, nobody's gonna want these. these you gotta be careful with anything that's got added protein because protein stuff can be pretty bad anyway. Yeah. So uh, you mix that with a muffin, it's, it's just horrible. Yeah, uh, yeah, these, these were At least good. they didn't do a good take on them. And then lastly, <laughs> these, I, I- We were looking forward to these. I liked these um, less than, than um, Kevin. So Kevin thought that How they the, weren't they as were, bad as me. Okay. I thought they were just horrible quality. These are uh, the Galactic Cones. They're from Aldi. Aldi. They're the Sunday Shop variety. And um, it was just, it, it was supposed to have a chocolate flavor and it, the, the quality of them was just very, very poor. Um, so a lot of the Sunday Shop uh, variety from Aldi has hit me that way. It's like either I like it, it's it's a line. Either I like it or I don't. There's usually no in between. These did not like it all. But now we tried some unicorn cones with these. The unicorn cones were pretty yeah, good. Yeah, they weren't awesome, but they were they were good. They but were it's definitely a shame worth because if you have somebody in your family who likes that whole space theme, they're gonna want to get these just for the name and for the picture and stuff. They're gonna be disappointed. Yeah, they they, be. There's not gonna be any pleas in them, I don't think, with no. these. So, um, do you want me to do mine or you want to do it yours? Matter. Okay, these were Susie's Soft and Creamy Hazelnut Cream Filled Cookies. Mm. They were spectacular. They were, um, we uh, found them at Kroger in a bigger, a larger Kroger in Lexington. I don't even know if they have them at our Kroger or not. I haven't looked for them. Uh, but they, they were pricey, but they were just, they're incredible quality cookies. Uh, the, the texture of them, the flavor of the hazelnut. Uh, we tried these with another flavor as well. Those were delicious too. These were the ones though that I think you want to get, the hazelnut. Mm -hmm. Terrific really hazelnut good. flavor. And, and the texture was really good. And in America, hazelnut is not as common. Uh, so it, they're different, you know, mm -hmm. so that's good. And this was the 7-Eleven, um, the banana, I took put my glasses off, um, the banana nut bread. And the 7-Eleven, we tried a couple of them during that, Sarah sent these to us. Mm -hmm. um, we tried a couple of these during this video and they were all pretty decent. I think, yeah, I think they were all pretty decent, but the, they were all decent quality. I think she sent us this one and another one. I think there were two in okay. this and, one. And I'm thinking yeah. they were both decent. Um, this one was really, really good though. Definitely if you have a 7-Eleven in your area, they had a really, it was, the texture was really good. It had a, a good moisture kind of, but it was a mushy. Um, it had a really good banana flavor. Uh, the nuts were good in there. It was just good texture, good quality, just good overall banana nut bread. Yeah, and from 7-Eleven. So yeah. it probably wasn't terribly expensive. Um, this is uh, Japan um, Dry Roasted Crunchy uh, Chili Lemon Peanuts in the Fuego. Um, I liked these more than Kevin, um, and I told him, I said, I like those enough to put those in favorites. And he said, well, I like them. He said, but I don't quite like them enough to put them in favorites. Yeah, and I said, I'd buy necessarily again. I said, well, I'm going to put them in favorites for me. Uh, normally, I don't like that, uh, the Le Mans part, uh, but now these, I thought they were terrific. I really did. Um, I think we bought, found these at Circle K is where I found mm -hmm. them. One of the few things I found that, that wasn't expired, wasn't expired uh, but it was near expiring. It was a near thing, trust me. Everything in there um, at our location. Somebody, it was funny because somebody left me a co comment. She said, I'm a manager of a Circle K. The Sorry, the cat scared the teetotal crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see, I saw it. Oh, Lord. Wouldn't you think we had a rat in the house? I didn't know. All I heard was. <laughs> Next to me, he pulled on a tablecloth. He scared me. I wasn't expecting it. That's hilarious. Um, somebody left a comment. She said, I'm the manager of a Circle K in Florida. She said, please don't judge them all by that one. Uh, she said, don't give up on us. And I won't, but I will know. You know, it's a lesson. That That's you, the only one around us anyway. Yeah, so. it's a lesson that you learn that, uh, you know, you just have to, and, and I know better anyway. I know... I've been in this game for a while. I know to look at those dates and I just, I was so excited to find different things. And Kevin was out in the car. I went in by I myself. Went the day and so it's like, I was just really excited and almost everything that I bought was expired. So anyway, these were good though. 
Uh, these are the uh, no bake, the Betty Crocker no bake cookie dough bites. This one is the Snickerdoodle, which is like a cinnamony sugar kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. um, they were really good. My only complaint about these, uh, the no bake cookie dough bites, you have to put so much of your own stuff in them. You do. Uh, that's yeah. my only. I mean, the flavor and the textures are really, really good, but the, you do have to put cream cheese and stuff in them. But, you could but probably, if you're not willing to buy, I mean, if you don't care about that, they're excellent to buy. You could probably honestly come up with your own mix at home if you knew. Probably. You could probably do something yeah. like that on your own. Uh, but anyway, it, they are terrific. They are very, very good, and the textures and the flavors and everything was just excellent. Um, so you can't go wrong with the Snickerdoodle if you like cinnamon. You have to like cinnamon though. Uh, these are, uh, this is the kind uh, nut butter bar. This is the peanut butter dark chocolate. And this is doing? one of, this is one of the, he wants attention. This is one of the kind uh, refrigerated bars. So I have seen these in Target. Uh, Sarah sent us these um, in, from California. So you can have them out of the refrigerator for like five days or something like that. Uh, but that's where you find these is in the refrigerated section. They're just really terrific bars and they're unlike other kind bars. So they're very good. They're not, um, they're a softer, like creamier. They're not bars. hard. Yeah. You know, they're not crunchy or they're just really, really good quality. So I highly recommend trying these. I'm sure they're more expensive too, because you are buying them a, a single bar at a time. It's not in a box, uh, but totally worth your time. Oh, yeah. Um, these are the bagel dots, um, jalapeno poppers. We printed a picture out because we didn't save the package. Yeah. Excellent, they, excellent. They were wonderful. We yeah. tried like four of those in one video. Yeah, and they were all decent. They, I were, mean, they were all pretty good. I liked all but one. I didn't care for the regular ones because... They're just kind of well, but cream you cheesy. liked them. I liked them because they taste like cream cheese and bagels. Right. For me, it was... I'm not used to that. Uh, the, that warm cream cheese. I'm just not used to it. But now that healthy. These yeah. were good. They, they had, the, they're like a, a bagel ball, literally. And um, they had this one particular one had cheese on it and uh, it's filled with cream cheese and jalapeno. It's just, it's just really, really good. And the textures and everything. I'm all about textures anyway. Flavor is good too, but texture is important as well. They had a really good textures. So these are, this is an Aldi brand. This is Aldi Elevation. And these are the uh, coconut chocolate chip. And th these were just really they good. They were good. And they, they had a good coconut. They were not hard to make. Uh, they made a terrific snack. They made a lot of the little bites. And uh, yeah, they had, they had a, a terrific flavor. Um, and I don't remember how much these cost. Did you, did you? Have to put the same stuff in those, so just like these no bake bites. Uh, yeah, you put you and... add stuff to these. Uh, yeah, you need a nut butter, so a peanut butter That's and right. maple or That's honey right. or okay. syrup yeah. or yeah. I, and I, I couldn't remember exactly which ones they were. Yeah, these were the best ones by yeah, far. I they that. they were excellent. So I don't know if this is something that's going to be out at Aldi all the time, but if if you missed it and you're interested, that is one to check out. So and they were not hard to make at all. All right, so I've got the uh, yummy comb, uh, sea salted caramel Belgian milk chocolate and honeycomb. I don't remember where these came from. You you are the one that found those at World Market. Yeah, World Market, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And they're and um, you know, World Market's one of those things kinda like every place else. Sometimes they have them, sometimes they don't. So they've had these for a little <laughs> while, so I have a feeling that if you are interested, you I think I've them. even seen them online. So that's something that is a positive about World Market. Like Home Goods, you can't go to Home Goods website and order stuff online. No. World Market, you can actually go to World Market and order a lot of their stuff online and get it delivered. Now, some of the stuff says in-store only, right. uh, but I bet you those, I bet if you were interested, you could go there. And if you like honeycomb at all, that was a terrific chocolate bar. It was good. Yeah, very, very good. Okay, so now we have the pineapple upside down cake. This was from Aldi. Um, what brand? Uh, it's Belmont, the Belmont brand. So we reviewed two of these bunk cakes in one video. One of them was like uh, salt, sea salt caramel or something like that, salted caramel. And then the pineapple upside down cake. These the pineapple was the, was the best. Phenomenal. I mean, they were both good. <clears throat> to totally like if you don't like pineapple, you could skip the pineapple one, get the sea salt caramel because it's good too. Mm -hmm. Either one of those. So like with that ice cream, it's one of those things in Aldi, you just have to know some things 
I'm not crazy about that ice cream, but now this is one, just like the Elevation, the Bites, this is one, if you see them, don't let them pass you yeah, by. They're very good. The, the sugary uh, pineapples were oh, good and tender. Top. I mean, yes. it was just really good. The yes. cake and everything was good. Yes. Hey, I have the um, churros cereal, my Malto meal. Mm -hmm. uh, were these exclusive anywhere? I'm pretty sure we bought them at um, Walmart. I think we bought them at Walmart. I don't yeah, think they were exclusive. I don't think they're exclusive. Think anyway, you can probably find them other places, but they had a really, really good cinnamon sugar flavor. And it's a big bag. And it's a, yeah, it's a huge bag. <laughs> and um, it had good texture to it too. And they stay good and crunchy in milk. I mean, they were they were just a really it's good cereal. It's an excellent cereal. Yeah, yes. so if you're a cereal eater and you like cinnamon sugar, just try them out. They're yes, really, they're absolutely. These are the Crazy Richards Holy Rollies. This is peanut butter and strawberry. And these were in the frozen section. We bought these about the same time that we bought these Bacon Bites. Yeah. Um, but I think they were in the same general area. Yeah, too. they are. They're in the same area. If you find like all the new Cinnabon offerings, um, th then you're going to find these too, which we love the stuff from Cinnabon. Um, if, and if I had, uh, I had thought about it, I would have had uh, some of those boxes in, the, in yeah, this video too, true. because they were really, really good. And there's one that is labeled Cinnabon that there's no cinnamon in it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It's just a... Um, it was a savory. It was just like an egg and sausage yeah. and croissant or something. Yeah, it was good. Phenomenal, phenomenal. But now this uh, Crazy Richard's Holy Rollies, um, it's peanut butter, oats, dates, freeze-dried strawberries, unse unsweetened toasted coconut, and I mean, that's it. That's the ingredients, and it they're absolutely terrific, wonderful quality. Um, it's only 90 calories uh, for each one, but it's a great size, so you really feel like you're getting a lot of flavor, and it's just well worth your money. Hey, so I have the... Um, Cheetos, um, salsa con queso, crunchy Cheetos, and I think we both like these. I, I don't know. We both like them, liked them more than you finished. Yeah, I finished them. That's all. why I put them on um, your side. <laughs> they, they were really good. I like Cheetos anyway. I like the textures and the flavors and everything. But um, these just added a little spice to it, a little kick to them that I really, really liked. It, it was literally like taking a Cheeto and dipping it in queso dip. That, that's how good it was. These are Quavos, and I liked these more than Kevin. Now, yeah, Kevin liked them, okay. but I just, I liked them enough, just like the uh, the peanuts. I liked these enough to say, I want to put those in my favorites. Um, these are specifically the sea salt and cracked pepper, and they're made from egg whites. Uh, they use, uh, made with avocado oil, made from egg whites, and I'm thinking these were like... Uh, gluten-free, grain-free, egg whites. I'm thinking these were good for uh, keto, though. Yeah, zero cholesterol, 16 carbs, so maybe they're not good for keto. Yeah, but you got to figure out that carb, so... But yeah. anyway, these these were just good. They're grain-free, and I really liked them. Um, so, great snack if you can find them. We found them at, like, Good Foods Co-op. I don't know how widely available they are, though. So now we have, these are, uh, this is from the South Bend Chocolate Company. This is, uh, it was popcorn, and this was the Butter Rum Crunch. And uh, we found this at World Market. And what made this popcorn so special and different than other drizzle corn was like, this was like, literally like icing, like cake frosting. Thick. Really thick cake frosting that they had put over uh, the the popcorn, so it wasn't your typical just a, a thin drizzle, which up, in, up until now <laughs> had been enough for me. Now that I've had this, that's no longer good enough. Um, if you visit the South Bend Chocolate Company, be prepared because this is like like extra. Yeah, it's um, very very good. It was phenomenal. Almost like. Uh, pralines, uh, pecan pralines, but with popcorn oh, <laughs> and frosting. <laughs> yeah, five out of five all day long. Uh, this is awesome popcorn. Well worth the money because I'm telling you, if you like cake frosting, imagine that cake frosting on top of popcorn and, and it, on top of caramel corn. And, and it's it's just to the next level. So um, so these are the, I can't read the company. It's way too small for me. That the vanilla is, bourbon 
pretzels. Yogurt Hayden pretzels. Valley Foods. There you go. Hayden Valley Foods in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. So these were the vanilla bourbon pretzels, yogurt covered pretzels. And I literally went back over and over and over again too. to get these because yes. you couldn't stop eating them. Yes. That's how good they were. Yes. So both of us were like, we, we can't, you know, and it's a small bag anyway. Yeah, it's not that big. Uh, but, but that's why we can't have nice things. It's because <laughs> we keep they're them. that good. So yeah. if it, the they're salty addictive. and the sweet of yeah. the pretzels. They were excellent. They were fresh pretzels. If I, remember, if I remember correctly, they had a good bourbon flavor mm, too. They did. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. really, really did. And so the last thing that I have is the Safe and Fair Food Company. This is the birthday cake granola. Yeah, it was probably one of the best birthday cake things I've, I've yes, had. Yes, because it truly tasted like birthday cake. Mm -hmm. and, and it didn't have that bitter chemical kind of flavor like some of them. Right. Did. And the, the, uh, this granola was very, very different than... than any granola that I've had before because it it's a thin layer. So it's thin pieces. So we tried this and we also tried the key lime pie and both of them, it's, it's like, it's, I'm used to clusters. Like I buy the kind peanut butter granola, but I've bought lots of other brands too. And they're all clusters. This was different because it's like in a, like little sheets, little strips. Uh, but this was very good quality and they sell, I went to their website and they sell all kinds of different flavors. So like they have apple pie and everything, but I've only seen the birthday and the key lime in our area. So it's one of those brands that I'll definitely be on the lookout uh, for because I would absolutely try other things that they have. And you can order it online. If you if you don't mind paying shipping, you can totally order it from their website. Um, I would just rather find it locally. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it was cheaper at Walmart than it was on their website. It's like a dollar cheaper to buy it at Walmart than it is on their website. So why would I do that? Right. I'm not going to spend a dollar more. I just wouldn't do Plus that. whatever shipping you might have but Exactly. But now it's a terrific product. I good. really liked it. Um, I, I, I used it in my yogurt and it was just really, really good. Or you could have just eaten it as a snack too. You can absolutely. But it's more dangerous that it way. It is because you eat more of it. Because there's no ending. <laughs> That's right. All right, these, I finished this whole bag. This was like a huge bag. These are Clancy's, which is a Aldi okay. brand. These are loaded bacon and cheddar, um, like rippled potato chips. Um, I think they were, yeah, they were. Um, they should keep these year round forever because they are they that should. good. They have a good smoky bacon flavor. They have a cheese flavor. I mean, just over the top flavor wise. It was just really, really good show. I mean, I can't say enough about these because I've literally, I would eat a sandwich for dinner and literally a handful of chips every single night. He did. And it's a big bag too, so it lasts a while. Yeah, they were, they were delicious. Yeah. So um, now, um, Kevin has a lunchtime review channel. He reviews, uh, he reviews things that you would take to lunch or have in your office at work. So he doesn't use the oven at all on that channel. That's the, whole, that's the whole point of his channel is it's microwave only food. So if a company gives directions on the back of the bag for oven or microwave, then that means that company is allowing you to make it in the microwave. Yeah, they recommend, they may not, they may not be the preferred method, but it's, a, it's, Right. Tested in so a, a lot of people have said, um, "Oh, you should not use the microwave at all." Well, but then I, uh, we always point out, if the company is giving microwave directions, then that means you're allowed to do it. Yeah, they've so, at least tested it. Yeah, they've tested it yeah. out. So he, that's how he does it yeah, on that so channel. Did. So. All right. So I've got one that was actually supposed to be on last month. So I'm gonna throw it out there right now, just just so you know. This was in my did not like it. This it's my fault. The, I forgot to put it in last month. Yeah, because we try to sort them out of this container we keep, and it was just you put it out by accident. It's yeah. okay. So this is instant my pasta. We bought these at World Market. Um, I gave this a two. Um, my my comment was it's very plain, little flavor, crunchy uncooked pasta. Um, I did a few of these mm -hmm. last month, and this was the worst one. And for some reason, I, all the other ones cooked fine. Yeah. This one did for some for whatever reason, and it was just literally no flavor whatsoever at all. So don't buy these. Don't actually well, none don't of these. Buy that one none of these were like over the top though. But some of them were good. But some of them, none of them were really awesome. So but this one was a two. So this one's really plain. This one was the uh, um, 
fusilli with cheese. Don't buy that one. All right, so I'm going to go through. I've got four over here. One of them was the uh, Jimmy Dean omelet minis. Uh, this is the Gouda and bacon. I dropped it right as I was saying. Was it, it Gouda? Up. It was Gouda. It was Gouder than Goud. Um, it was four. I gave it a 4.5. Um, it was only 250 at Kroger, which out is not five. bad. Out of five. Yeah, 4.5 out of five. Um, I love the flavor of it too. The flavor, the cheese flavor was just really, really good. And you can actually taste the cheese. Most of the time I tell Tammy, you could probably leave the cheese out of that for me. I'd rather not have the cheese because it doesn't have any that. flavor anyway. So yeah. why waste the calories with cheese? Give me another cheeseburger. Give mm. me another uh, piece of hamburger. Right. Um, so this was really good because you really got the taste of the cheese. Um, this one I gave a five. This one was um, at Meyer. This one is the Devour, the sausage, um, the Cajun style Alfredo with sausage and chicken. And I remember this one just being um, just a really good mix of flavors. The flavors went really good together. The pasta was cooked really well. Um, the seasonings were good. I'm good and spicy. So yeah, if you can get, I have not been too displeased with most of our meals, honestly. They're most, good quality. Most yeah. of our meals I've liked. There may have been a couple I haven't like loved, but they've been they've all been good. They, they couldn't go wrong with most of them. But this one was a five out of five. Um, let's see. So that one was also a five. And, okay, so I, the, the next two were both five. Just spoiler alert. Uh, this is the all-in-one macaroni macaroni pasta a la Rom Romana. Uh, this one was also from World Market. It's one of these, this one's kind of like a shelf stable meal. Um, it's got a package of sauce and a package of pasta. You pour it in the bowl, pour your sauce in there and you microwave it. And, uh, but I said it had a strong cheese flavor. Again, I could taste the cheese. Um, the pasta was hard? No. I like how he's having trouble I know, I can't read my own writing. Well, I can't see anyway. Um, but anyway, this was just an excellent one. So if you if you get any of these, if you see these at World Market, get try them out. I don't know that they had these last time we were in there, to be honest with you. I can't remember if they had them or not. They they were doing like, uh, it was like the whole month was like celebrating Italy or right. something. So right when you walked in the door, they have usually them. when you walk in the door, they're, they have a section where they're highlighting a right. country. That's what they were highlighting right. for that month. But I don't, I don't remember um, necessarily seeing them. They may have had them back I in the back. I think they had them in the back, back on the shelf. They right. just had moved them from the front. Right. Um, but yeah, and that was a good amount of food too. Yeah, it was a full bowl of pasta with yeah. sauce. Uh, and this one was the Marie Callender Savory Swedish Meatball Bowl. And this one I also gave a five out of five. And uh, Tyler, I think Tyler, yeah, told, you Tyler told me about this mm -hmm. uh, meal, so thank you very much. Um, it was excellent. The the sweet, the meatballs were really good. The pasta was, it's like an egg noodle and the egg noodles were cooked really well and the sauce was really good. So the sauce wasn't just something to give it some liquid. It was actually had a lot of flavor to it and the meatballs were a good texture and everything. So yeah, they, they got a couple of 4.5s and two fives, three fives. But they can't go wrong there. They had a good month. <laughs> but like Tyler recommended that, anytime you see a frozen food that you want to recommend for Kevin yeah. on that Search for it first. Search for it on the, yes, please, <laughs> please, please search the channel yeah, first. Yeah, because I've done He's done a lot, of, these things, done a lot of reviews and yes, it's, it's nice if you search the channel to make sure. But if I haven't it. tried it, and also, it he's not going to try family meals. So there's a lot of um, I know like uh, Patty Labelle has like some Patty's Good Life. Yeah, and I've looked at it. every time I go meals. to Walmart, I look at it and go, do I want to do that and just eat half of it? But then I but I, it's for a family. Yeah, it's, you know, I'm wasting literally wasting. It's half it's of for it. a family. It's not for a single meal. So he it would be for lunch. So he's interested. Uh, you know, if you see a frozen meal that somehow because they all look the same, they, they really you look do. At the alley or Especially after doing this for some many years it's like your eyes almost cross going down the aisle uh, because all the boxes look the same um, so if you do happen to spot something new I'll let him know I'll leave him a comment on that channel and he'll for sure look yeah, for it. Yeah right there on our grocery list. And yeah just look, like that bill that, that Tyler said and it's like oh well, we need to find that uh, so yeah we always appreciate that but if any of these uh, reviews. If you missed any of them and uh, they sounded like they would be uh, fun to watch, please go back and give them a try because I know that it's it's hard to keep up with all of them for sure. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching.